Hi, welcome to Pez Plains RC. I'm Darren. I'm Owen. All right, and we have really been enjoying uh, flying FPV, that's first person view through camera and video goggles. Uh, we've been flying line of sight for uh, about a year and a half, primarily using planes created and shared by the folks over at Flight Test. And uh, what I'd like to do is I want to fly FPV at night. So that's still legal, uh, but the FAA is uh, very seriously considering banning it. So we wanted to try it before it's not allowed anymore. But there's one problem with FPV at night. It's really hard to land even if the plane is loose. Yes, so I was concerned about landing, you know, we have a, a field that's surrounded by trees and other things, and uh, while we can light the plane up, I'm a little concerned about um, remembering where trees are and things like that. So, how do you solve this problem? How do you land, how do you have confidence to land at night, uh, no matter where you are and what you do? Autonomous flight. Yes. So Specifically, we... Ardu Pilot uh, 2.5. I believe. So yes, we've been uh, experimenting with the uh, APM, uh, Artipilot Mega, and we have really been enjoying uh, its features. And so what we've done is we have built uh, some missions, and we're going to show you how to do that, uh, that include a takeoff and a landing sequence. And what we'll do is we'll take the plane off using the auto takeoff uh, in, a, in an orientation and a heading that we've tested throughout the day dozens and dozens of times. And then we'll test the landing during the day dozens and dozens and dozens of times. And then we'll find an evening uh, where the wind is very, very light. And we will do it at night. And we will enjoy some FPV at night. So stay tuned and we'll show you uh, how to do it. All right, so here we are uh, wanting to fly some FPV at night wanting to uh, not have to worry about l taking off and landing the plane uh, and hitting avoiding trees and so forth so how do we do that well we're going to go to flight plan here in mission planner and we've got our home location at our flying field you can see that it's uh, surrounded by some trees uh, even though it is fairly large and this is what we're going to do we're going to set off a mission uh, configure a mission that will take off the aircraft uh, fly it to approximately 400 feet actually a little bit lower and then we'll uh, commence a landing sequence. So here we go. I'm going to right click uh, anywhere on the field and select takeoff. It's going to ask for our takeoff altitude. This is the altitude that when it's reached, uh, the next waypoint will be proceeded to. What we're going to do is set this pretty close to 400 feet, and that's going to be 133 meters, right? And the takeoff pitch is what pitch of the aircraft do you want to uh, shoot for in order to attain the final altitude? And I'm going to go ahead and say 25 uh, degrees. All right, you'll see it there. Next thing I want to do is start planning my approach. So what I plan to do is begin the auto mission uh, by taking off the oh. aircraft in auto. And then once it's reached a uh, sufficient altitude, I'm going to put it in return to launch and then fly some FPV at night, enjoy the beautiful scenery and then put it back into auto, at which point it will uh, commence the landing sequence. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a, a glide slope. So I'm going to select a waypoint over here, and the only thing I really need to worry about is its altitude. And I, and I know from experience at 75 meters, uh, flying over this uh, sort of parking lot here is uh, plenty high enough. I'm going to cross the street, set up a waypoint here, and I'm going to make it 50 meters so that it's descending. I'm going to set up another waypoint uh, over here. I'm going to make this uh, 20 meters. Uh, I'm going to set up a waypoint here, make this 5 meters, and then I'm going to set up one more waypoint just over here, and I'm going to change it to be land, and I'm going to set that at 1 meter. I think you can actually set it at 0. I don't know. I usually do 1, and the plane kind of glides down. And the idea is that the plane will glide somewhere between here and the trees. So what I'm going to do now is save this waypoint file uh, to a, uh, a name that's saved in my hard drive here. I'm going to call it a Landing Nighttime. What's cool about this is that if you ever get into a situation where you're in trouble, uh, such as a fail-safe situation on the transmitter, you can always load up this saved mission if you've practiced it enough and land the airplane uh, using this saved mission. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, 
try this out during the day and see how it works. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed our night flying uh, demonstration. Wanted to give you guys a couple of uh, pointers and tips uh, if you go ahead and try this. The first is that make sure this is still legal uh, in your country uh, with its laws. It currently is from our understanding here in the US, but we do expect that to change. The second thing is make sure you test your auto takeoff and your auto land over and over and over and over again during the day. We've tested ours so, so many times uh, to the point that we felt confident using it uh, on a nighttime flight. Thirdly, uh, we did not uh, purchase a nighttime lens for the FPV camera. Uh, we just simply put our camera into night mode. Uh, but Alex Grieve, I'd be crazy, has some very helpful videos on uh, adjusting your lens and uh, putting on some night lenses for FPV flying and would love for you guys to check those videos out. Um, and then lastly, don't fly too late at night, especially if you have a pusher plane, as most FPV planes are, as the noise will uh, undoubtedly an annoy your neighbors and possibly break some noise ordinances in your town. So be a, a good neighbor, uh, we strongly recommend. So that's where we are, and anything else? Do you want to show them our FPV setup? We should do an episode on our FPV setup. Maybe we'll do one in the future. But any questions, go ahead and comment below. And please like and subscribe. We'll like and subscribe. We will release episodes every Saturday weekend. Every Saturday we'll release episodes. Thank you so much.